right guys time to ride the ghost cat f 2.2 e-bike again oh i can see that there's some marks on here now i think that's when my feet are going up and down my shoes are hitting that i never felt it but just getting some little marks right there but all right we on the way we are already jamming 140 newton meters of torque we're out of here this thing picks up so damn fast and we were on a full battery charge by the way but one of our energy bars just went down and uh we were at what 52 53 volts under load can i make the light can i make the light i'm gonna make the light i made it that's fine oh yeah we, we're good anyways uh 36 miles an hour on here it's funny because this thing likes to work and not work and i look down here and i didn't even start my time <laughs> at least uh you can use your uh your fingers through this so 35 on here and it said 36 i still have people hitting me up for bikes that i made a video on like a year ago hey man i want to buy that bike from you like dude <laughs> that shit's gone man after a week of making these videos are normally gone and i gotta say this is probably gonna be gone as well only because again i don't have the room but i feel like i made some really good videos on this thing so you guys can really decide if you want or not I seriously would not be worried about the bike turning off like it did. And again, we're going to see if that happens on today's video or not. But they are going to fix tons of issues on this bike. And I like the fact that they're really in the community. That's how uh, the Rave company was, the GTX. They were really in the community as well, helping people out. Ride One Up was there as well. Ride One Up just really makes some uh, nice quality bikes. Whereas some of these other companies, are right, we going to go through because I'm bike. Excuse me, excuse me. But what I was gonna say is some of these companies just go ham on some of these bikes of being $2,000 and you just get hella power out of them. They cheap out on a little bit of stuff, I've mentioned it, but I feel like I'd rather have the power, speed, the stuff that most people are not going to change because I can do these handlebars, I can do the grips, I can do the headlight, I can do the tail light. You can change all that kind of stuff. I can change the pedals, which I already did. I got the um, LED pedals on here, so we'll see those at night. But the power management controller system and like the display stuff, I feel like that's where companies need to focus in on a lot because we just want hella crazy power. It's like when you buy a cheap Honda Civic that's like $2,000 and then you motor swap it, you do a turbo, you do coilovers, you do rims. You already spent like $10,000 on this car already hey, and i know that guy that guy shouts in my store but no one goes out there to go and buy like a 10 or twelve thousand dollar car right off the bat because you might not have the money but over time you can upgrade it because you know you're getting your paychecks and that's where i feel like if these companies really focused in on putting where the power is under a cheap budget so people can afford them then more people would get them and they would modify them over time i always get these red lights all day every day don't hit me white car don't hit me Let's see how well we get up this hill. We're not gonna be as fast as this truck that's next to me right here or this other car that's speeding past it. 24 miles an hour. If you guys didn't see my last video, that was exactly the same. And then once we hit the top almost, we're at 25, 26. This thing is a definite good bike for hills, man. Absolutely fantastic. If you're in San Francisco area, you're gonna love this thing. Going downhill, we only hit 37 last time and it looks like 37 miles per hour again. So I haven't seen any faster than that, even though in my video review, it said we did 40 miles an hour, but I think that was a fluke and that wasn't real. I think the max we hit was 37, maybe even 38. And I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see my phone in there because I can barely even see it. I do have my visor down, so I apologize for that, but there's really nothing we can do since this display doesn't work. Let's get a jump start on this traffic. It's green anyway. I just know these lights around here. But it's funny that I'm staying up with all this traffic next to me. They can't seem to get away from me. If they had a really long stretch of road, like right now, this light is green. They might make it to the next light, but I'm curious to see if I will uh, keep up next to them. Or maybe even I'll get this light and they won't get it. Let's go, let's go. Come on. We on Valentine and Ashland, baby. Fresno, California. We out here. Let's see, let's see. All right, so that truck's gonna get up there. I see that the light is green way up there. But it is going to turn. I know that by the time that truck gets there. So we'll probably meet him up there. It's going to be funny. Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> Gotta love these fast e-bikes. 
Now it's not exactly super fast to go into the street because these streets are about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So I can't technically be over there, but it's almost fast enough. And I really like that uh, Model Y because it's just like mine. It needs more modifications though, I'll say that. But look at this, we're catching up to that truck already. What's up, brother? <laughs> didn't get very far. I'm still here while you wasting a bunch of gas. And this thing probably cost me about, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's like 20 cents or 30 cents to charge this thing from, no, it's a little bit more than that. I think it's like 40 or 50 cents to charge this battery overnight. And I can get a good solid 20 miles out of this thing, maybe 22 miles for a 170 pound rider at going full speed keep in mind if you do pedal and you don't ride as fast as i do then you can definitely save some more battery i would highly suggest that people do get this bike because there is no room for an extra battery just buy one for uh your backpack and then just keep one in there that's exactly what i would do man i am on these lights <laughs> i'm getting my reaction time down really really good now this light again is green up here. This truck is probably gonna be stopped at it. And we just probably gonna see you at the next light, buddy. So just keep going and wasting your uh, gas. You're probably getting like 15 miles per gallon while I'm over here cruising. Oh, it just turned red. So it might actually be green by the time he gets up there. Oh, come on, Mike, let's go. <laughs> How fast are we going? 35 miles an hour, that's still very fast. This isn't a class three e-bike anymore. Technically it ships out as a class two e-bike but i changed it so it obviously goes a lot faster what's up man you listening to my conversation he has his window cracked he's probably like what's this guy doing <laughs> he's using his hands talking to himself he's a maniac let me get away from him <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day guys uh i'm really in the mood to just kind of make content i will say there is probably going to be another delay on the videos because the office space that I did get, and this is kind of sidetracked from this because I do this on a lot of my vlogs that I go back and forth to work on, is it's not really, oh God, what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's not working out with me and the other person at the office. And I just did an office video, which is crazy. I just did one showing you guys everything in there. And it looks like I'll probably be moving out to another office because they want their privacy and i got cameras set up on my side of the office just because i'm worried about you know someone breaking in and stealing my stuff so it's just not going to work out so i'm probably most likely going to move out and that means the videos are going to take a delay again and really apologize about that i don't know when it's going to happen maybe by the end of april but yeah what a mess but it is what it is i think i would rather just have my space now because i'm thinking if I do have my own space, maybe I can share it with someone else. But if I don't share it with someone else, I'll use the back half of the office because I already have it set up to be divided by, uh, you know, in half. I can have the back half for me recording videos like this and I can have AC in the office and I can have like a green like backdrop or something. And I think that would be kind of nice. So maybe I'll do something like that. We'll see. But uh, only time will tell. And I wish this car would go. You should have darted out there a long time ago, buddy. Dang, car's all scratched on the side. You guys can't see it, but it got keyed for sure. What did you do? Cheat or what? I saw this real bad like Tesla the other day all keyed up. Like all of it was keyed up everywhere at the movie theaters. Like, dang, what did they do? I wish I had a picture or video of it, but I don't. You know you can uh you can go, right? Should I use my horn? <laughs> oh man, you could have went a long time ago. <laughs> God, people suck. I'm a better driver on a bike. God, man. Some people just make traffic so congested. Learn how to maneuver around your area. And let's come back here. I see some firefighters. It's probably not the best idea to come back here because there's always like, oh, oh we got some air on that. <laughs> Whee! There is always some uh, goat heads and thorns back here and nails, so. Just chilling back here. Wonder what happened. All right, let's go all the way around. I could have took a little shortcut right there, but why do that? God, this bike is so smooth. I love it. And there's tires. Dang. 
you gotta be careful with this bike in like small little areas like that because you just start hauling ass and you don't know if you're gonna hit like a random bump even though it is comfortable you still gotta be on your p's and q's man you gotta be careful on where you're riding i guess one good thing that i just noticed is the bike never cut off on us so that's good curious to see if it's gonna do it later as of right now though so just so you guys know before we start the night trip is i have went 3.82 miles roughly it's like four and a half miles to work so i don't even know if that's reading correctly but anyways our voltage on here is 56 to almost four miles and our max speed was 37 average speed was 17 and it took me about 12 minutes to get to work but i had to walk through the store so now it says like about 13 and a half but not too bad see you guys at night oh i forgot to turn these lights off oh no oh well these ones are dead <laughs> only one remains i think i told you guys in my last video is if you ever get these uh pedal lights you got to make sure they're always on standby mode so if you aren't going to use your bike for hours on end do not leave them on standby mode because they will for sure die and it looks like they all did so i can't really show them to you god dang it but what we can do let's put it in power mode five and <laughs> All right, uh, I forgot that the right brake is the front brake. I almost endowed. Dang, this bike just takes off. Look how fast we're going to the grocery store. We're going way too fast. Shoo. Right now the voltage is at 56.5. So a full, full thing is 58.8. .8. So it's probably like 80% right now. All right, try it out, it's ready to go. It's a full twist throttle too, so. And then remember I told you the brakes are switched. So this is your rear one, or no, this is your front one, I'm sorry. And that's your rear one. Backwards. Yeah, it's backwards like a dirt bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you need to turn the headlight on? Let me get that for you. Oh, all right. Yeah, I just have an aftermarket one just in case. All right, you should be good. The headlight's pretty good, you'll be able to see. <laughs> see what he thinks about it <laughs> definitely an upgrade from this one <laughs> yeah, <not> <laughs> <laughs> you're moving out there how different is it compared to this thing <laughs> super wait, wait <laughs> yeah here's the kickstand there you go yeah no it's a fun bike huh yeah, yeah. yeah not too bad and i like the the bouncing this <laughs> it, it's comfortable yeah, yeah it was very comfortable I yeah was like, charles really nice on like where charles go did he go inside oh there he is you got to try it like really try nice it charles it's really <laughs> all right really nice on the butt. Come on. yeah <laughs> all right cool man yeah that's that fun honestly <laughs> hell yeah that's so bad oh man there's one of our shopping carts god dang it i'm in charge of getting all those at the end of the day but man when they're way out here you don't see them <sighs> People making me look bad at my own job. You can't walk around this parking lot everywhere. All right, anyway, let's get out of here. So I can't give all the news that happened at my store, but I guess some things that did happen that I can kind of explain is that I guess uh, someone had passed away, one of the homeless people in our parking lot. There's a bunch of trash cans they have over there and they always get like the little Caesars food because at the end of the day they just throw all their stuff out there and they wait to get the food which no one has a problem with but it's like really unsanitary over there and obviously i don't know the cause of death i guess it happened overnight so it happened pretty much probably oh dang around the same time about 24 hours ago and then uh, some guy came in spit on someone and uh yeah they took him down you don't do that if you assault someone you're gonna get assaulted back um i had nothing to do with that though i wasn't even here at that time and then I heard another guy was in our parking lot just sleeping right by the front door. I don't know who called the ambulance, but the ambulance came and picked him up. I don't know if he was like ill or what was going on or, but yeah, so that's a, there's a lot of stuff, man. I have been off for the last 11 days. I'm finally back at work and then all this stuff comes up. <laughs> it's crazy, man, absolutely crazy. And I heard just a couple days ago before I went in there, that someone was like stealing and they caught them 
and then instead of just leaving they like tipped the whole basket over and all this shit went everywhere and like started breaking stuff i'm like what the heck is going on in this store i don't know i don't know the whole story but i just probably i probably don't even want to know i'm just gonna keep out of it because when i work i don't want there to be any problems i want everyone to be safe people stole tonight like always you know and i you know what i'm like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that siren until he got to the intersection. Holy moly. All right. <laughs> that was crazy. I lost my train of thought there. Oh, anyways, uh, when I work, I try to make sure everyone's safe. Like, people stole today, and I'm just like, don't even, don't even worry about it. Like, people come in, they steal all the time. Like, if it's a basket, we get the basket cool. But other than that, man, I'm not risking my life for it. I got a lot of things going for me. You know, the people that steal, man... They don't have anything going for them you know what i mean and i'm talking about these are like normal people that come in and steal just alcohol or wine or whatever and they don't have nothing going on whatsoever they're just pretty much i don't know all i know is i'm doing better than them if they have to come in and steal something ain't right in their life where they feel like they got to go in and steal i pay for all my stuff i think when i was like 11 or 10 i think i stole a pack of gum and then my mom made me go back and apologize and I was crying. <laughs> I mean, kids are kind of built different now, but anyways, uh, I'm really glad that my coworker was able to ride this bike. If you saw the little thing that he has on there that he normally rides back and forth, it's good for him. I think it only does like 12 miles an hour, maybe 14. So this thing is like hands down way better than what he was riding. So I really just wanted to get him on it and see what he thought about it. And he was saying at the end of the video, if you heard it before I ended the clip, he was like, dude, that thing was so fun. That was so fast. There's a huge difference. And he had a huge smile on his face. And I'm really trying to get some of these people to upgrade their bikes. Even if they don't buy a bike from me, which I am gonna be getting rid of this bike soon because I, the, for storage, and I think I told you guys that. But it's like, you gotta see the difference. And a lot of people I saw comments saying, is this thing street legal? and it does ship out and it is legal it only does 20 miles per hour when you get it but the reason why we unlock these is because we want to be able to get up hills with a lot of power so we change the torque you know the sensitivity and how quick the motor like ramps up power we like to change that because if you want to get up a hill you need to get that power to go up a hill but what i tell people is unlock the power keep it legal on the street do 28 miles an hour if you don't want any problems with the cops then when you go off-roading like in the dirt or something like that just turn it up just put like turn it up to five or pedal assist five yeah and just start moving what the heck is that someone lost their food but because it's like you can go off-road and you go as fast as you want it's just when you're on public roads you have to go the speed limit of an electric bike and that's in some areas 20 in our area like here is 28 cops don't care if you're not pedaling so it is what it is and something I've noticed too, if you guys noticed from the last video, if you watch a lot of my videos, is that the bike has not cut out on this yet. And why did this light even turn? There's no cars whatsoever, so I'm going through it. What the hell? Why is there just, oh my God. There's just some random crap everywhere, man. It's getting so bad out here. Do people not just have a spot to put their like couches or beds or whatever so they just stole them everywhere it's crazy but what i was saying is that uh in my last video the bike was cutting out is that was that the uh, was that the fire department going that way now or is it a different one anyways uh so i haven't had any cutouts but we are getting close to the voltage where the bike was cutting out at i believe that was like at 47 volts right now i'm at 49 volts under load so i'm just curious to keep riding it and see if something's gonna happen and I apologize, guys, because I told you I was going to turn down the brightness of the display, and I totally forgot. The screen doesn't work anyway. All I can say is that uh, we're at 49 volts, and... Oh, hold on. Let me cut through here real quick. Got to concentrate, make sure I don't uh, wreck or nothing. But there's basically nothing that you can see on this display that you guys can read anyway. The speedo doesn't work. So, um... What I was going to say is the company was going to send me a display, but I probably won't have the bikes. So I'm probably going to have to give it to the person that buys it. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is you're not going to be able to see anything on this display. So it doesn't really matter that it's like super bright. I would have liked to have it down for you guys just so you can see what I'm seeing. But I can update you guys on like the voltage and stuff like that. So when I let off right there, it went up to 50.5 volts. And now that I'm on it, it's at 48.6. 
And it's crazy that it went down about, what, 0.4 of a volt within like half a mile. This thing definitely drains with all the power you have in here if you really use it. But if you want to, let's see. Let's go. Dang, these brakes are so good. Let's see if I go down to pedal assist two. If I use throttle, does it cut me on speed? No. No, I'm still moving. <laughs> it did, however, gradually cut the power though. It's not like as instant and torquey, but uh, it looked like I was still able to just keep on going as fast as I wanted. So I wonder if I put it in one, if that goes off of the pedals. Oh, okay, yep. So pedal assist one, it's only allowing me to probably go like six miles an hour or seven, maybe eight. Um, so yeah, you can use throttle in any pedal assist you want and you can go as fast as you want. But I did notice that I didn't feel like I had that much torque when I put it in two. Let's see, okay, let's try that and then let's try five. Oh, okay, no, 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 I take that back. No, it, it kind of feels the same. It's just, I was going at a different speed, so it took off differently. So yeah, you get all the max power in any mode. No issues with the bike today, which is great. And it's so comfortable, even coming up my driveway, it almost feels like a waterbed. It's just like jumping back and forth. I should have had my buddy give me a hike on the back or something with those pegs and we could have tried that out. And why isn't this light working? Can you not see me? Oh, there we go. So now you guys might be able to see this screen right here. So I did, oh, I didn't even record the mileage coming over here, but realistically, I know it was off when I went to work, but I do about four and a half miles to work, four and a half miles back, and I didn't take any shortcuts or anything. So pretty much nine miles, and I'm at 52.8 volts, if you guys can see that. Energy bars are down two bars out of the, how many are you there, like 10? Yeah, so we're down two out of the 10, so we're eight bars. Don't like that too much. Um, we should have looked at our current to see, but you guys wouldn't have been able to see the screen anyways. RM doesn't work and yeah, no issues with it. Since the bike has been on at my work, um, almost 17 minutes, it really only takes me like 13 to 12 minutes to get home. What the heck is on here? Was that a bug? <laughs> that looked like that was a dead bug or something that I've been sitting on or something. Oh man. Oh, and another thing too is that, um, the phone that I was using in here is an S24 Ultra. It barely fits in here. Like I'm talking about barely fits in there. It's, it's kind of scratching the edges and I thought it was going to break and peel um, or like bust a hole through these seams, but it didn't. So just keep in mind, um, it doesn't fit huge, huge phones. And I feel like my phone's probably on the largest size. So you, I guess you guys should have no problem with any other phone. But the S24 Ultra, be a little careful. It is kind of hard to get the phone in there, but it does work. The bag is nice. And again, you guys want to check out the links down in the description, discount codes, affiliate links, all that kind of stuff. It helps out my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. True MVPs. And if you don't like this video or you want to see more content like this, whatever, go check out this video.